What's up everyone, my name is Naveed, and will Pepe coin go up? Major news and everything you need to know. In today's agenda, everything that we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be talking about the Pepe website, we're gonna be talking about the Pepe coin market cap, Pepe news, Pepe tokenomics, Pepe community, Pepe holders, chart analysis, my predictions, and where and how to buy Pepe. So, looking at that, this is going to be a short video. Let's get into it. Hopefully, I can help anyone that's looking to go ahead and get into meme coins, get into meme coins. And this is by far, from my analysis, looks like one of the best meme coins to get into right now. And I know there's a big community out there that's uh, from the Doge community and all the other memes that are hopping into uh, Pepe overall. So, let's hop into it. So this is the Pepe website. Um, on the Pepe website, you can see that the most memorable meme coin in existence, the dogs have had their day. It's time for Pepe to take reign. Okay, so you can see that they have their social medias over here. Um, it also has all the exchanges that they're listed on. And as you guys can see, Coinbase is not on here. And we'll get to that at the end. As we keep going down about... Pepe is tired of watching everyone play hot potato with endless derivative Shiba Uhu. That's a long, I'm not going to read that. But the Inus have had their day. It's time for the most recognizable meme in the world to take its reign as king of the internet. And by far, they predicted their future because right now, almost every single person knows what Pepe is, right? So, going down, uh, you can also see... The wallet stuff, it's just basic information on here. And the tokenomics is it's very simple. Uh, it has about 420, so that's trillion uh, with a T, 420 trillion tokens in, in uh, overall market. In the overall market, you can see that it's, it's just a basic meme coin. There's nothing too complicated about it. And so far, everyone's been loving it, right? So now moving on to the overall meme market because we got to really talk about what's what's going on around the market as well. As you guys can see, I'm on Coin Marketplace or Coin Market Cap, and right now almost everything is in the red because we are in September. If you haven't seen my last video, I talk about what September really means and how Bitcoin really goes ahead and pushes the market down in September historically. So if you haven't looked at that, make sure that you go watch that video. It should pop up in a second. So, as you guys can see, Dogecoin is obviously number one in the meme category. You have Then you have Shiba Inu, and then you have Pepe as number three. And the market cap from Doge to Pepe is very, very big, right? So, just keep that in mind going forward. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. And as you can see, from its absolute peak, the meme market was all the way up to about 43 Point seven nine billion dollars and since then it's dropped down significantly to what it is right now which is 36.64 billion so we've definitely had a major downside downward uh, spiral over the last uh, couple months or i would say since the last month a couple weeks right now as you guys can see pepe the Google Trends. It's, it's very important because I want to go ahead and go into a lot of detail because I know a lot of people are watching this coin and there's a bunch of people that went ahead and bought when this coin was at its maximum top and then there was a bunch of people that went ahead and bought when it was just going to that top and right now almost everyone from that vicinity to like now 20% difference is in a big loss or in a decent loss. So right now as you guys can see um, in order for Pepe to really take off we need to go ahead and take rain back on google trends we need to go ahead and have our search volume spike as you can see in july 5th it spiked uh, that was also like during that time where it was going on downward spiral and we will go ahead and go over the chart analysis so i will go ahead and go over that over there as well so since then you can see that it's been fairly median uh, and this is i'm looking at the past 90 days and i'm only looking at the u.s if i was to look at the worldwide we can just take a quick look at that yeah, there we go. You see a bunch of spikes all around, and then you see a big consolidation of where we are right now. And this is partly because there were a lot of people that were in the market, and then because they saw Bitcoin going down, and because historically, because this is the having year of Bitcoin, everyone believes that right now might not be the best time to buy. And, and usually, people have a tendency to take their money out of the market so they can go and spend it wherever they need to spend it. And then as the market starts rallying back up, 
and these same people want to go and hop back in the markets and they hope that they can go ahead and make a lot of money from it, right? Sometimes they mostly, sometimes they do, and other times they don't, right? They either get out from the very top, I mean, they get in at the very top or they get in just as it's about to reach the top and then there's a downward spiral and then they lose money. So we want to be those people that get into meme coins, that get into overall coins at a very decent time. And right now, Pepe is looking like one of those coins where it might be the time to go ahead and start getting into it. And obviously, this is not investment advice whatsoever. So invest in any coin at your own risk. I'm just giving you price predictions and what I'm seeing from my chart analysis. Overall, if you ever want to get into any coin, especially in cryptocurrencies, do your own research. Moving on, uh, I want to go ahead and talk about the Pepe community, right? So Pepe has its Twitter. When you go on Dex Screener, um, and we'll, we'll go over that in a second too, you could see that it was went ahead and established back in 2016. It was a very, 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 very small coin back then. And obviously anyone that got in during those periods of time, and you have to understand Pepe really started taking off this year, even though Pepe was a meme back then. And now it's like really when it really kicked off in the cryptocurrency markets. So don't get me wrong there. You guys can see there's a big community. You have 63,000 people following it. And then going back to over here where you can see their Telegram, they have about 31,000 people, right? And as you can see in any meme coin, a community is very important. And it's and you can also go over here. There's a bunch of pages that have uh, Pepe in it, right? And this one is by far the biggest. This is the Pepe, Pepe coin with the ETH, right, bridge. And you can see that it almost has 700,000 people, 669,000 people watching it. So there's a lot of uh, backing behind it, and Twitter is always, Twitter X, whatever you want to call it, has always been that platform where meme coins have a tendency to strive and where memes have a tendency to survive, right? To so survive and strive. So as we can see right now, um, any cryptocurrency, especially a meme that holds a big following, has a very good chance of succeeding in the market, right? And Pepe has really established itself alongside Doge and um, Shiba Inu. Going over here, uh, j just just so you can quickly understand what you're really dealing with right now, Pepe is valued at about two point nine billion dollars, almost three billion. So let's just say three billion. The daily volume is about six hundred thousand, six hundred million, which is very good, especially if you're looking for a liquid coin. Uh, this coin is fairly very liquid, right? So if you get if if you put a hundred dollars in, you don't have to worry about it getting rugged from you, right? This is this has a lot of volume and you can easily get your money out. But anyone that's saying over there, and I really want to go ahead and get this cleared uh, right off the bat, anyone that says that Pepe is going to reach a dollar, they're full of shit. There's absolutely no way, right? In order for Pepe to reach $1, it would need to reach the market cap of $420 trillion. It's just not going to happen. The world is not worth that much. So just keep that in mind, and as you can see, overall, it's, it's on a downward spiral. Moving on, let's look at a little bit of the news that's uh, been surrounding, and then you can see the daily volume has been around this, and it's, it's definitely down, um, representing a 35 negative 35 percent decrease from one day ago. So it's definitely gone from almost looking at 900 million uh, daily volume to about 500 590. And that's partly due because of the market and because of September. Again, September plays a big role, especially in the cryptocurrency markets, especially when you're dealing with Bitcoin, which has a very big dominance and power hold in the entire cryptocurrency. So you really have to follow Bitcoin in order to understand where the market might be going. Yes, some meme coins do have a mind of their own. And yes, meme coins can strive and be green when everything else in the crypto market is red. But that does not mean that trend will always continue. So you have to be very careful. Looking at um, Pepe, we also really have to go ahead and look at the transactions. Really quick, we're just going to screen through them. You can see that it has a very healthy amount, 30, 33 minutes ago, um, 6 minutes ago, 2 minutes ago. And it's nighttime right now, so this is uh, fairly good. It's not bad. I mean, this is what you expect, especially in the U.S. markets right now, U.S., Canada. It's nighttime, so people want to go ahead and they, you don't find that many people buying uh, cryptocurrencies at this time. So 
looking at the holders. Pepe has a lot of holders, right? But you have to look at number one. Yeah, in the last videos, I went in and talked about how holders play a big role in the cryptocurrency success. And Pepe right now, it has a $32 million liquidity level. So at any moment in time, if anyone ever decides to sell, which I don't think anyone's going to sell $150 million worth of coins, uh, it's just not going to happen because that would destroy a part of the market for a couple of hours, but then hopefully it will rebound back. But it's not like stocks where people have uh, stop losses. Um, so you don't really have to worry about stuff like that, especially because this isn't listed on uh, Coinbase yet. Uh, when a coin is listed on Coinbase, then you have those things that you got to worry about. But because this is on uh, decentralized exchanges as of right now, and it may be on Coinbase later on, you don't have to really worry about those big price fluctuations because of one wheel selling and then everyone else's uh, stop losses being uh, triggered from there, right? So as you can also see, volume, you have the market cap. And then over here, you do have a bunch of holders. You have some people holding 5%, you have some people holding 3%, then you have some people holding 2, 2, 1, and then you have this one wallet holding about 22%, right? This, again, like I said before, uh, in my meme uh, coin video, and if you haven't seen that, I'm going to go ahead and pop it up right over here. If you haven't really realized yet, there are a bunch of projects out there that go ahead and uh, close out a bunch of their uh, tokens. Usually, sometimes this is just isolated in one wallet. Usually, it's not a buyer. Sometimes, it's an exchange that holds it. And if that's the case, these exchanges go ahead and have it for the purpose of selling it to other people. And so, they can go ahead and liquidate, uh, keep the market liquid, right? The liquidity levels decent. And you have to understand, this is also around uh, $680 million. So, just uh, keep an eye out. I will be very concerned if this ever reached about 20%. Then you're then someone's offloading, but right now, from my own understanding, this is just a stagnant wallet. And we can quickly take a look. Yep, see, Binance. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. This is a Binance wallet. They hold a lot of the supply, and they're probably trading it on uh, their platform. And so you don't really have to worry about that. Then don't even ignore what I said about uh, if you. If, if this ever goes to 20%, I, I doubt it. But you also have to realize that others, there are about 281,000 wallets that hold about 55% of the supply, meaning that they hold about 232 trillion coins, right? Which probably make up a majority of that $2.93 billion market cap. So as you guys can see, that's pretty healthy. Now we have to move on to... Pepe's chart. Right off the bat, you guys can see there's something going on over here, right? But before I tell you what's going on exactly, yes, it's going on down with Sparrow, but that's not what I'm talking about. From the very absolute bottom, which was whatever that number is on the corner, I don't want to read it, but from there to all the way at the maximum top that we reached in Pepe, there was a total increase of... 1,382.42 percent, right? So if you had put a hundred dollars in here, you can see that your hundred dollars on February 23rd would have been about a thousand three hundred eighty-two dollars profit by May 27th, which is what the absolute top was for uh, for Pepe. And you could say this is a local top; it doesn't really matter. It was the top, and it happened this year. Then from there, from the top, because I know there were a bunch of people that went ahead and bought during this time, from May 27th all the way down to, what is this day? Today, September 6th, you can see that the, the downward uh, was about 58.90%, right? So from here to here, so if you, if you were holding about $1,000, if you put it at the top, and there were a bunch of people that did, because I was watching the uh, the orders come in at that time, because I always look at deck screener to see what's what's really happening. And there were a bunch of people, some people put 10,000, some people put 50,000, because they thought this coin was gonna keep going up, and ultimately it did not. So those people, that's for, this, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna say that if you put $1,000 in on May 27th, and right now, you would be sitting on top of 420, right? You will be down about $580 today, September 6th. 
right now, these people are either buying more or they're just holding that bag and praying to God that it goes back up to the top so they can cash out. So looking at that, you also very understand, you, ha you have to understand this one big fundamental component about chart analysis. This right here looks much, 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 much closer in resemblance to this head and shoulder, inverse head, and then you have shoulders, right? So this, 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 and bam, right? And unfortunately, you see it right here, where you see one head here, or when you see a shoulder here, you see the head here, you see another shoulder here, then you see a little bounce back over here, and now you're right here. So right here is the support level that we really have to hold, but unfortunately is September, and historically September is known as what again? The bad month for crypto and Bitcoin in general. So looking at just that simple fundamental analysis, you can make an educated guess that Pepe may go down to what you see right here. So it could go down another 32% to the absolute major support level, major, major, major support level of the number right on the screen that you see, right? This would result in a lot of people selling. I mean, obviously, in the next couple of weeks, you have to monitor Bitcoin and see exactly what's going on. But if there's a sell-off that happens, then just th this is probably the level that you would really want to go ahead and buy at, which is the level that I'll be looking for very closely. And you have to also understand that I'm using a four-hour chart. So I'm not using a daily. Daily is very different, right? Um, you're just going to see one big spike down and then one spike up. So, um, I don't really want to look at the dailies. What I really want, what I really care about is the four hour chart. And then on a very rare occasion for Pepe, I will look at the one hour chart, right? If you're doing a day trading, if you're doing day trading. So just looking at this fundamental uh, analysis, you can see that it will probably likely, there's a good chance that it could, go, it could go down to right here. From here is what you will be looking for people accumulating all the way back up hopefully around this level and then from here this will be right at the end of september which is very very close to usually the time frame that cryptocurrency really bounces back in a historical in every september or every every year whatever you want to say during this time period right uh, post having year or pre having year having year whatever so this is the level that you really got to uh, look at. If people, if this does drop down, you're going to see a lot of accumulation right here. Um, and then you'll see a bull market kickoff for Pepe on the, uh, going back to the upside around September 26th, um, early, I'll say October, you could probably see you go back up. But let's just say that it doesn't ever happen. Let's, let's just hypothetically say, let's say that it doesn't even crash down here and Pepe holds very strong because of some news that comes out, for example, a Coinbase listing, right? That would add significant, very, 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 very large volume to Pepe, right? We may not even see this decline down to the downside, which is about 30 some percent. What could happen is if a Coinbase listing does happen, then you could pot pot can't talk, potentially see a um, increase all the way to the upside to this level. Right. And if we break this, then we can go all the way back up and hopefully start retesting this area right here. So just keep an eye out on that. Um, if you're looking to go ahead and day trade, I would probably not do that for Pepe. Uh, but if you're trying to go ahead and uh, hold it for the long term and you're just trying to figure out what time, what day or when you should accumulate around what price, what percentage, this is probably the level that you should be really looking at, because from my understanding, from my analysis, from everything that's going on and the news, there's no Coinbase listing that's happening anytime soon. Maybe sometime next year. Maybe if we're lucky, it would happen this year. But from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's about to happen anytime soon. So now let's go back and I want to go ahead and give you my price predictions for Pepe, right? Um, like I said, I'm just going to read off of this because I, I went ahead and wrote this for you guys and I just don't want to go ahead and uh, say something that I'm not supposed to, uh, like I'm, 
something wrong is basically what I'm trying to say. Price prediction needs to survive September, needs to hold its current support level. If Bitcoin rallies up at the end of the month, we can see the price follow Bitcoin to the upside. That's number one. Number two, if Bitcoin goes down to 49,000, 50,000, which it's looking like it will, if you haven't seen my last video, you should go watch it because I go ahead and go over Bitcoin's fundamental analysis altogether. We can see if it does reach these levels, 49 to 50,000, we can see Pepe fall well below the support level, retouching that key level that we talked about earlier. I do think Pepe will be a 14 to 18 billion dollar market cap which is a 4 to 5x potential from the price that it's at right now, which follows Dogecoin's current market metrics, meaning that Dogecoin is setting about $14.8 billion, something like that. Um, if bull market kicks off and major Coinbase listing comes and Bitcoin starts retesting its all-time high and Pepe gets more media exposure, and you have to understand this right here, I'm not talking about, or I'm not talking about it happening tomorrow, this month, next month, or the month after that. This I'm talking about during the bull market when it actually really kicks off, right? When Bitcoin starts retesting its all time high and media exposure in, in the crypto industry really starts picking up volume and the presidential elections are over. And that's when I would possibly go ahead and up my prediction to over here if everything lines up and if everything happens then we could see a doge effect right a doge effect is a high bull market possibility which is a 8 to 10x which is a 28 to 30 billion dollar market cap which was the all-time high of dogecoin a few months back or last year whatever it was right i have to look at the charts and i haven't looked at them in a while so you have to keep in mind this so this is uh, basically it. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and go over Pepe because I know there's a lot of people that's holding Pepe. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and uh, like it. Uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you should subscribe. I post daily dives into meme coins, uh, altcoins, and Bitcoin. And I do chart analysis just like this video. So if you liked it, please go ahead and subscribe. Please go ahead and like. And leave me a comment below if you have a coin that you're looking at right now that you would like me to go ahead and take a look at and do a analysis or an in-depth uh, review about it, right? So thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care.